unscripted that's exactly what tvs motor company thinks of this motorcycle and that's exactly what we think too by the looks of it well this is tvs motor company's brand new motorcycle is called the tvs ronin and uh, well we are here to take a closer look at it and also to give you a closer look at it so because this motorcycle is very interesting indeed and let me tell you why so right from the offset the first thing you notice about this is it's not really a cruiser and yet it's not even a scrambler or it doesn't really slot into a particular segment of motorcycle and that is why TVS calls this unscripted that is why uh, they're calling this motorcycle uh, they say it has a character that uh, doesn't really slot it into a particular segment it is what you want it to be and well that is pretty interesting so let's take a closer look at this motorcycle and what you get with it uh, let's take a look at the headlamp first so this is a circular headlamp uh, it does look really nice uh, it's got the t uh, probably stands for tvs well uh, that is the led drl and then you've got the four led matrixes now this is one of the most powerful headlamps in its category uh, according to tvs tvs claims that this uh, has a brilliant throw of around 150 meters which is the segment leading throw so that is excellent indeed and then you get to this because this is the most attractive this is what will grab your eyeballs first when you look at this motorcycle the big pistons show off folks uh, of course they are upside down units they look really nice and well according to TVS's presentation this should function really nice too for that you'll have to check out our review uh, which we'll be doing shortly so we'll be riding this motorcycle tomorrow and the review will be out on the 11th of July so do check that out as well uh, we will tell you everything you need to know about this motorcycle then you get to the brakes so you've got disc brakes at the front and at the rear uh, of course you've got ABS etc now the tires this is really interesting so those of you who have ridden any motorcycle or even the TVS Entoc that is equipped with the Remora uh, brand of tires from TVS Eurogrip you would really know that this Remora tire grips and grips and grips and never really gives up uh, this is developed based on the Remora uh, this has a dual purpose pattern uh, for on slash off road use and that is very interesting indeed and we will be checking it out tomorrow uh, while riding it with our eyes open to see how this handles especially given that the uh, weather in Goa right now where we are is wet I mean it's raining and these tires by our guess should actually grip and should not cease to grip now that brings us to what you have here this is an oil cooler uh, it's exactly just like the ones found on the Apache series the RTR 200 etc before we get to the oil cooler and the engine and the oil cooling technology let's go up top let's check out the design let's finish up the design elements so you've got this tank so this is a dual tone uh, a motorcycle so you've got the silver elements with the red stripe and the blue finish on the tank looks really nice uh, the paint finish is excellent and it's a very attractive motorcycle indeed there's no doubt about that you've got the one piece seat uh, so this seat uh, really it looks very comfortable right from the looks of it uh, even without us sitting on it we can tell you that it, it's a very comfortable seat and then you've got the single piece grab rail uh, nothing too complicated about it very functional uh, very practical indeed and then you've got this single piece crystalline uh, led tail lamp uh, you've got led indicators as well and then you've got this really thick fender at the rear so that pretty much sums up the design aspect of it now let's talk about the features because there's one very important feature on this which is the monopod instrument cluster so tvs has equipped with this motorcycle with the monopod instrument cluster um, it's a single unit and it's offset so it's to your side uh, you this is where you put your key in and when you turn it off and turn it on well this is how it turns on this is animation uh, I've got lots of telltale lights on the outside and on the inside there's lots of information that this uh, infotainment screen uh, this uh, instrumentation screen packs you've got the tachometer the speed the gear position indicator trip meters odometer uh, also you've got the display for the urban and rain ABS modes so you've got two ABS modes on this motorcycle and uh, well it's pretty interesting you've got the fuel gauge as well and then you've got the other elements on this uh, uh, motorcycle as well now that we're done with that let's check out a few other elements that could have been better starting off with the humongous chain cover so this chain cover is well it does look nice from a distance it does look like the motorcycle hiding a really thick chain but the chain is actually not that thick uh, it didn't really need such a big chain cover uh, I can already see a lot of motorcyclists a lot of users removing that chain cover and throwing it up in their attic or something but 
uh, that definitely could have been a little more compact now that we're done with that let's get to the heart of the matter which is this engine this is a 225 cc uh, 225.9 cc so it's actually 226 cc uh, single cylinder oil cooled engine now this is a squared engine it's got a bore and stroke length of 66 mm so 66 and 66 mm make it a squared engine that means uh, it's got equally good amounts of power and torque coming out uh, across the rev range and that is very interesting indeed now tvs hasn't really said that this is anything based on the apache rtr 200 and we did some digging around and we found that the apache rtr 200 4v actually has a bore size of 66 mm uh, but the stroke length is of course lower so on this one the stroke length has increased so we are guessing that it is based on the apache's engine now that we are done with that let's get to the figures uh, 20.12 bhp at around 7000 rpm and the interesting thing is the torque so it's around 19 nm but it comes in really early at 3750 rpm so that is very interesting indeed that should make for a great riding experience no matter what terrain you're on tvs says it pulls neat in every gear and that is very interesting so we will be checking all those out so this was our introduction of the new tvs ronin uh, this is the newest motorcycle from the tvs motor uh, motor company stable uh, launched at a starting price of rupees 1.49 lakh now there are three variants available and uh, well color options also differ in each variant so there's more information coming your way so stay tuned to drive spark for that this is stephen neil signing off stay safe and ride safe